Mark, this is your March 12, 2020 lesson. Okay, before we start recording, we talked about, uh, you know, set setup is pretty good. We, we like to like the way the arms hang. Uh, uh, you pointed out the head could be, the chin could be up a little more, and I agree. And I think we can flatten this thing out just a bit, you know. The back. The back, yeah. And, and all. So, uh, so, but, but, you know, the setup is good. And, and. Be a little bit more knee bend? Yeah, maybe. But, yeah, yeah. But that's, that's not causing any great trauma. But what I do like is now, your, your toes, your toe line is parallel to the target line. You have a tendency to get it, uh, shut. So you're swinging across yourself. So that, that's an improvement in your setup. And, and what was great is you didn't even need a, uh, uh, aiming line, aim stick to uh, get there. So that, 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 that that's gonna help a lot of things. Okay, so the takeaway is we get to so we get to we get to 45, and if we had that peg in the butt of your club, you couldn't see it. Right. Right. So we we want the we want the yeah. able to see it. Okay. So so then at, even even at this 45, you know the the butt of the club is that's five inches maybe. Yeah. Okay, so then it gets out further. It gets worse. Yeah, it gets worse before it gets better. Still picking it up and not turning it up. Uh, yeah, right, right. It, you know, kind of throwing our hands away, and you know, we'll we'll lose connection there. I think it's better. I think I think you're out here like towards 12 inches earlier, but so so the hand path is a little bit. Funky, but what's what's pretty cool is now is the shaft is coming out of the spring, so it's it's parallel your toe line. It just should be on your toe line. Mm -hmm. That's all. And and the, the toe of the club is up, so there's just a little bit the right amount of forward rotation. So that that part's good. The shaft and and the toe of the club it is a pretty good spot. But now. You know, the but the club is still out here, yeah. still out here. Now it's approaching where it was at at at, at address. Okay, let's see that. Okay, so and, and the left arm is bent. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm not going to get that wound up about that. Okay. I I just I I know more about the yeah the, the path the right now. You know. If we can get this thing on plane and it's still bent, and it's causing some problems. We'll worry about it. But right now, that's that's not what's causing the trauma. That's not what's causing the inconsistency. Okay, so so it's here, and then it's then then you get to this position, and and this position in the mirror, your hand should be over your cigarette pocket, the right cigarette pocket. See that? Mm -hmm. Left arm parallel. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's got it right over that right tap. You've got it over the left side. Yeah, yeah. So that the the club is still outside of where it started, starting with that green line. Okay, so so now now you get in here and see how that elbow is. I mean that's almost. That's almost horizontal. Now, if I, if I if I take this thing out and I get the elbow horizontal, what's the shaft going to do? It's it's going to steepen, right? If I do nothing more than get the elbow pointed down, look what happens to the shaft. Mm -hmm. So this so that that elbow look this this this, uh, this Nimrod has, but his elbow's under. Under, and he gets the position at the top, and, and the angle is a little funky. But but looking at at that elbow, it's like 15 degrees, 12 degrees off of uh, vertical. 
Yours is uh, like 40 degrees, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if that elbows out, where's that shaft going to be? It's going to be across the line. So. Here's Adam Scott. Kind of laid off. Elbow pointed straight down. If I take that elbow and move it out, I get your back. Mm -hmm. So we got to get that thing under supporting earlier. And and that 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 wrist. My, I, I've got a, I've got a plain wrist, so I can't go 90 degrees. But but you know the waiter's tray they talk about. Mm -hmm. You know you got to get more into that because that's straight. And with that elbow flying, you can't get this bit back. Right. So so it's going to be across the line. Now the problem with across the line, as as you know now, is the first move down is too steep. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, not now. See, at the top of your swing, look where the butt of the club is. It's about where it is at address. So it's still out here. <laughs> now, if it starts going towards the ball, we're going to... And it is. Look, it's, it's... So when when the left arm is parallel now... Look, when... Look, his left arm is parallel now. Look. His hand is now over his right cigarette pocket. His elbow's in here leading. And and you're gonna have to make this miracle move. And and look, look there's the shaft. That's where this is where it should be. Right. See how it is? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. working for you that's causing that thing to be steep. One is your hands are exaggerating or away from your body. So at some point you've got to get steep because the ball is almost right below it. Mm -hmm. If if the hands are in here, now you can go you you can come in shallow like that, right? Here and this. And the other one, when you come down, that right elbow is kind of floating. If that's floating, this is going to be too steep. The good guys will go as they as they wait for to go. Boom! Now look, it's right on my corner. Mm -hmm. See where his see where his elbow is? Yeah, right yeah. Right, yeah. Where yours is still on your side. There's probably air between your side and your elbow. You know so. So now the club is pretty much pre-impact. Your elbow is still at your side. His is crawling in towards his middle. So, and okay, so then the the uh, final thing is just watch your head movement. So we got a lot of. A lot, of, a lot of movement in here that's not helping anything. So at the top of the back swing, it's gone up. So what is that? Three inches. So right there. There's your ear. Started here at the two and a half inches. Then you, then you, then, then you never recenter yourself, but comes away from the wall about the same. But I see. What I like is you're 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 rotating your hips really well, which is pretty damn good considering your your belly is going to the ball like this. This one's kind of getting in the way. Even with that, you you've got a pretty good turn. If you get the belt buckle going this direction, look. There's more body going on. Yeah, there's more room for that hip to to get out of the way. Now, 
Now you don't you don't hit with your lower body, your lower body clears to allow the club in your hand to swing through. But that you know, being this far away from the wall, this is three inches. Look, when he comes down, he's he's got his butt against the wall because his belt buckle's going towards the target. But but for now, I'm not going to worry about your butt being up against the back wall. We just need to get it down flat. So so uh, shallow. So so if you have this going on, we still can get in here. Mm -hmm. So this is the first thing we have to fix. And I like to fix also that head movement. That's 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 not helping. That's not helping anything. So okay. So while we're still recording, let's look at the other angle and then we'll come back and decide what we're going to work on precisely. There should be no surprises. From this way, it shows you why your swing is so good. you you got good timing, you're rotating through and all. It doesn't show the, the plane issues. So there should be no surprises here. Maybe a little funky. Maybe that's the shadow. Maybe that's the V. But let's take a look at that. Uh, so we take away. Yeah, I, I like this take away. Shoulders moving, and you get to you know this left leg is good. You like that? Looks like that that right hip is now rotating back. We had a problem getting outside earlier. Let's see. Straight right here. I'm kind of liking this hip action. Remember, you, you were bumping that thing. You weren't rotating it. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. Lower body action is really good. And then you come down. So you, you link in off this. You look at this this guy when he comes down towards impact. As he starts, there is an impact uh, at, at the top. That right knee kicks in. His hands are parallel, or the clubs parallel to the ground. Mm -hmm. That right knee in an impact is like symbols on his knees. He's, yeah. he's sounding it. Yeah. So. Um, just a little late, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, you can't be too. It's amazing too. Is is if you can speed this thing up, it's, you got a better chance of getting that left hip going back instead of mm -hmm. this action. You have this action. This is what you want. Okay, so then, yeah. So this is great. On your toe. It all it all looks good. Um, it's just coming in from way too steep. You know, and again, the question is, why does that steepness cause inconsistency? Cause inconsistency? Well, coming in steep, you're good at it. If you don't make any adjustments, you're going to stick a force in the ground and put behind the ball and hit it left. Okay. Then, good athlete, if you lay down exactly right, you'll you hit it with anybody in the world. If you come in steep and overlay it down, you fly. So you've got this, got this thing going left, you got this thing going right, depending on how much you lay it down or not lay it down on, on 